watching channel Maths and Maths Academy. Today we are going to solve an equation of this type x plus a into x plus b into x plus c into x plus d is equal to k. Like we will write it x plus a into x plus b into x plus c into x plus d is equal to k where a plus b is equal to c plus d and our given equation is x plus 1 into x plus 3 into x minus 5 into x minus 7 is equal to 192 before we move towards this solution please subscribe this channel so that you could receive all our videos in time let's get on with the solution now now we will check all these four brackets and we have to form pair of brackets where the sum of the second term should be equal to the sum of the second term in the other pair what i am trying to say here is if we combine x plus 1 with x minus 5 so minus 5 when we add 2 plus 1 it comes out to be minus 4 and when we add 3 and 7 uh, minus 7 again it comes out to be minus 4 so we will rearrange the brackets now we will write x plus 1 with x minus 5 and we will write x plus 3 with x minus 7. So we will multiply the first two brackets with each other and then the second two brackets with each other. So this x we will multiply with this x then we will multiply it with the minus 5. So it is x squared minus 5x then we will multiply 1 with x and then 1 with minus 5. 1 into x is plus x and 1 into minus 5 is minus 5. Then we go to the second bracket. We multiply this x with this x and then it will multiply with minus 7. So x into x, x squared, x into minus 7 is minus 7x. Now plus 3 with x and then plus 3 with minus 7. So 3 into x is 3x and 3 into minus 7 is minus 21. Now we simplify these brackets. So x squared minus 4x minus 5 and the second one is x squared minus 4x minus 21 is equal to 192 again in both the brackets first two terms are same so what we will do here we will assume those terms equal to y let y is equal to x squared minus 4x by doing this our equation will be will look like y minus 5 into y minus 21 is equal to 192 now we will multiply both the brackets with each other this y will multiply by y and then y will multiply with minus 21 so we will get y squared minus 21 y Then we will multiply minus 5 with y and we will multiply minus 5 with minus 21. So multiplying minus 5 with y is minus 5y. And then multiplying minus 5 with minus 21 will give us 105 positive. So we get now y squared minus 26y plus 105 is equal to 192. Now we subtract. 192 from both sides y 
y squared minus 26y plus 105 minus 192 and here 192 minus 192 so positive 192 will cancel with negative 192 and we are left with y squared minus 26y minus 87 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and we can solve it with the help of the quadratic formula so general form of quadratic equation is a y squared plus b y plus c is equal to 0 since there is no coefficient of y squared so it will be 1 a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to minus 87 let's write it down a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 26 and c is equal to minus 87 and our quadratic formula is y is equal to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a now we will substitute the values of a b and c in the formula so y is equal to minus into minus 26 plus minus square of minus 26 minus 4 into 1 into minus 87 over 2 into 1 now we simplify it minus into minus 26 is plus 26 square of minus 26 is 676 then we have to multiply minus 4 with 1 which is minus 4 and then again we will multiply it with minus 87 so we will get positive 348 over 2 26 plus minus square root of 1024 over 2 square root of 1024 is 32 over 2 so in this case either y is equal to 26 plus 32 over 2 or y is equal to 26 minus 32 over 2 so y is equal to 58 over 2 or y is equal to minus 6 over 2 so the final values of y are 29 and the second one is minus 3 but if you can recall we have assumed in the beginning of the question y is equal to x squared minus 4x so we will replace it back x squared minus 4x is equal to 29 or x squared minus 4x is equal to minus 3 we will bring 29 on the left side so it will become minus and same we will do in the second case we will bring minus 3 on the left side so it will become positive 3 now again we have two quadratic equations which we can solve with the help of the quadratic formula so let us compare these two equations with the general form of the quadratic equation which are like this in first case since there is no coefficient of x square so it is 1 uh, b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to minus 29 so our a is equal to 1 b is minus 4 and c is equal to 
minus 29 and in second case again there is no coefficient of x so it is 1 then b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 3 now we write the quadratic formula which is x is equal to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a now we will substitute the values of a b and c in this formula one by one for both the equations so x is equal to minus into minus 4 plus minus square of minus 4 minus 4 into 1 into minus 29 over 2 into 1 or x is equal to minus into minus 4 plus minus square of minus 4 minus 4 into 1 into 3 over 2 into 1 let's further simplify these equations in the first case x is equal to minus into minus 4 is 4 square of minus 4 is 16 4 in minus 4 into minus 29 is equal to 116 whole over 2 and the second one minus into minus 4 is positive 4 square of minus 4 is 16 and minus 4 into 3 is minus 12 over 2 x is equal to 4 plus minus 132 square root over 2 or x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 4 over 2 so we can write x is equal to 4 plus minus 4 into 33 over 2 or x is equal to 4 plus minus 2 over 2 so x is equal to 4 plus minus we can take the square root of 4 which will be 2 and only 33 will be left inside or x is equal to 4 plus 2 over 2 or x is equal to 4 minus 2 over 2 here we will take 2 common so 2 plus minus square root of 33 over 2 or x is equal to 6 over 2 or x is equal to 2 over 2 so this 2 cancels with this 2 this 2 cancel with 6 3 is left and 2 cancels with 2 1 is left so x is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 33 or x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1 so our solution set in this case is Two plus square root of thirty three two minus square root of thirty three then three and then one and this is our answer that's all for now until the next time please take care and bye